Hi, I'm Kenny Cooper, your host, and shadows are our topic today. You'll, you all know the sun creates a shadow. This is an important concept in making your art appear lifelike. Light is always coming from one side. The definition of a shadow is a dark image projected onto a surface when light is blocked by the shade of an object. It's what gives your project dimension. Take a look at these silhouettes, and here's how they were created. So we have this, we're making sweet silhouettes today, Katie. And all we're doing is tracing our shadows and then framing them up with foam and some sparkly foam core. I love the way this looks. What a fun project with a friend. Thanks. So to make them, you're going to need a piece of foam, which I already have mine ready to go in front of me. And then over here, you'll also need your sparkly foam core, some black paper, some colorful paper to mount it on as well, some glue spots, gems, paint brushes, pencils, some gold paint or whatever color you, you like, some ribbon, and some paper-to-paper -paper glue. So you ready to get started? Yes, let's see. Okay, so I made this frame by cutting out a piece of paper, um, and I used our symmetry here uh, to make the base of our frame. So to get started, you just wanna trace around your pattern. And it's okay if it isn't perfect, but I wanted it to kind of have, because silhouettes are kind of Victorian, I wanted my frame to have sort of that turn of the century look. So it has lots of fancy edges to it. Definitely. And people used to do this as a way to preserve um, memories of a loved one if they, because they didn't have photographs. That's right. So once you get your line scribed, this is, um, you can start cutting out your frame. So I'm using a special tool, and you can see I have a cutting mat down below. But you can just kind of start sawing your shape out and then come down and around. Now I'm just going to do one edge of this. And if you didn't have a special tool, you can use a plastic knife for this. Yeah, that's right. But this blade makes it really easy to control, right? Yeah, and the teeth on it are um, pretty fine, so it glides through the foam. Okay, so then I'm going to just set that aside, but you can see that gives us our first edge. And then to clean up those edges, just take your scrap foam and sand it together and brush off those crumblies. Good idea. I made that word up myself. Okay, so then you're going to need to paint your frame or your base piece, as it were. And to do that, I'm just using some gold acrylic paint. And this is a thicker formula. And you can use a thick brush. I always use the same kind of paint brushes for everything. But you wanna just brush the paint on. And I'll tell you that um, to get a nice coat, it takes a pretty good amount of paint. But if you want to kind of spread your paint out a little bit, one of the things that I like to do is just brush some water over your paint. And that kind of helps the um, paint get down into the cracks and crevices of the foam. That's a great tip. Magic. So just get your brush wet. Right, so now we have one that's already finished and then we're ready to decorate it with our silhouette that you have. Okay, so for putting the silhouette with the paper, you'll use a paper to paper glue. And of course, here's the silhouette from the wall that, we're, that we traced around the light. And then you just hold it against your paper to cut it out. So to glue it down, you'll just use paper to paper glue, make an outline all the way around the edge and glue it onto some colorful paper and you can cut your colorful paper in a squiggle. Right. And then, so then, here we go. So then it kind of matches up with the Victorian look of our piece, and we'll have a pattern on the website for that too that they can trace and cut out. Oh, I didn't get her very straight. There we go, straighten her up. And then mount this onto the foam board. And then while you're doing that, we went ahead and used a craft knife to cut a piece of foam core to fit the inside of the frame or on top of that looks like it's on the inside. So you'll want to get some adult supervision for cutting your foam board. Exactly. But I'm just using glue dots on the back. I think it's great to show too that you can press it right onto the board and then peel your adhesive away. Perfect, right? Makes it easy. So then you're going to want to center that up and press it on and we're ready for this. We'll place her right on top of that. I like the way you always mount your work. Why, it makes it you. look finished. Yeah. Yeah. It's key. Gotta frame up your art. Definitely. 
And this is neat because this frame is so dimensional. I like that too. And you could use this kind of as a cork board if you wanted to and put mementos and things around the edge. That would be fun. It's a good idea. So I went ahead and attached two glue dots to the ends of my ribbon. Could you lift up that sure frame? Will. And we'll just slide those on in at the two where the two points come down and push those in. And then Gem let's time. Let's make it sparkly with some gems. We you can pick some, I'll pick some, but we're just going to attach these with glue dots as well. Okay, I like the way that you made this little sunburst at the top. Thank you. It's I, so pretty. I love this.